going off course today because we need everyone to listen up right now. The canned food drive is in need of major support. We're at roughly 12,000 cans as of the end of yesterday. I'm no mathematician, but I believe that's a far cry from 100,000. Frankly, we should be doing better. When we say we need everyone's help, we are not joking. We could get an additional 8,000 cans from just everyone bringing in 10 cans. Seriously, just 10 cans. Just go to your pantry or grocery store and find at least 10 cans. And every can counts. And I know it seems like if you bring in just a couple cans, it doesn't seem like it's doing much, but those few cans will give a hungry family a meal. If you can't find a few cans at home and you can't go out to the store, we are happy to take donations too. Your Stuco members have been working very hard to buy stuff and we can help you turn that money into actual food that goes to feeding families. It's been more than a slow start, but this isn't just any other food drive. This is the CAN FOOD DRIVE! drive. Please consider the impact you can have on your community and how you can better the lives of hungry that Catholic charities can reach. Thank you so much to everyone that has donated so far. Now back to your regularly scheduled Halo. Good morning, Saints! Today is Fruity Friday! November 8th, 2024. Hopefully you brought in all your fruit today. And a very happy birthday today to Arden Hornung, Brooke Holt Graves, and Isabel Lang. The Saints of the Day today are Saints crowned martyrs. Ultimately, Christians cannot create a statue of a pagan god. The decision not to carve a statue of Asclepius cost Christian sculptors Claudius, Castorius, Symphorian, and Nicostratus their lives. They were condemned by Diocletian, placed in lead barrels, and drowned in the dew. The verse of the day is from Deuteronomy 11.8. So keep all the commandments I give you today, that you may be strong enough to enter in and possess of the land that you are crossing over to possess. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe, fruit cans. Mm, Just kidding. Yum. Popcorn shrimp platter. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Saints football continues to take their truck to state tonight as they take on Pittsburgh High School. The theme is construction, so wear your construction vests and hard hats and help your Saints build a victory. It is a postseason game, so no passes are accepted. Aquinas students will not be allowed in for free. Student ticket fee is $6. You may pay by cash or by card or via GoFair. GoFan. Are you interested in learning about the Saints softball program? Are you interested in trying out for the Saints softball team? To learn more, please attend the Parent Player Information Meeting on November 14th at 5.30 p.m. in this STA Presentation Room, Room 134. On November 9th, we will meet at Aquinas at 9 a.m. and travel to St. Mary's home to work for four hours and then return to Aquinas by 3 p.m. Bring a lunch and an open heart to work. A total of six service hours are possible. Please see Mrs. Loafman in Room 124 or email her at bloafman at stasaints.net to sign up. Only about 14 spots are available. You must sign up. St. Ambassadors, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, listen up. Please check your email for a service opportunity to help your school. Our open house is this month, November 23rd, and we need student volunteers. The email is from Mrs. Kolich, and the subject line is, St. Ambassadors, please read open house volunteer opportunity. Sign up today to help your school and get service hours. There will be a mandatory training. The dates are listed in the email. See Mrs. College if you have any questions. Thank you. There will be a STEM club meeting in the comments for all interested students during the first block of SDA today. We will be discussing information about our upcoming bridge building competition. If you are a senior athlete signing a letter of intent to play college athletics in this November signing period and would like to be recognized in our signing ceremony next week, please come by the Student Life Office sometime this week to get your name, school, and sport on the list. Again, the signing ceremony is in the theater on Wednesday, November 13th at 3.15 p.m. Candyland shirts are being sold by the student council and may be worn every day of the canned food drive. So next Monday will still be allowed with your uniform bottoms. See Mr. Price in the comments before school. Shirts are $15. Breaking down the wall starts next Tuesday. There are still spots left. If you really want to enjoy everything that STA has to offer, don't miss this. We are very lucky to have this workshop in Aquinas. It is by far one of the best school days I have ever had at SCA. Get your friends to sign up with you, dress down for the day, relax for a day, and don't get a count against your waiver. Enjoy yummy snacks, free lunch, and a ton of fun and laughter. Use the QR codes to sign up for next Tuesday or Wednesday. If you are attending Breaking Down the Walls and have a special dietary need like gluten-free or vegetarian, you must notify Miss Oliva in the counseling office immediately. We will only order special lunches for dietary restrictions if we are notified. We need to know immediately. And remember to bring your own water. We have a couple saints for a day joining us today, so please welcome 
Davis, Olivia C, Aaron, Bella, Landry, Peter James, Olivia M, and Olivia S. Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you next week. I'm Jordan. I'm Greta. And I'm Ian. Signing, Signing off. Remember, stay classy, saints, and bring in your cans! <laughs>